Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Lama and today we are going to be discussing my UI in BFA. So, this was a request for a video by Brandon B on a comment from another video where he asks if I could talk about the intricacies of my UI and I thought that why not go one better and help explain to you what makes a good UI and what I have and why I use it the way that I do. Now, the first thing I want to stress is that my UI is far from perfect. It follows the rules that I'm going to discuss for what makes a good UI, but it does have a few errors and I am constantly working on my UI and I would always recommend that you do the same. Never think that once you have a UI set up that it can't be improved upon, it always can. And I do like to find ways to improve on my UI, it's one of the things I enjoy about the game. And I know that sounds a bit strange to most of you, a lot of you will just want a UI that's functional. And if that is your aim, then hopefully this is the video for you. Another minor point is that this video was actually requested to be both my UI and my add-ons. I've done a great many videos on add-ons and I won't be discussing them in great deal to detail today with the exception of the add-ons that directly impact my UI. And even then I will only be discussing the major ones. A lot of the add-ons that you see on screen, I don't even look at myself, so I wouldn't recommend them to you. But I will be highlighting any that I think are useful and how they have them set up the way that I do and why. So the first thing we need to establish is what makes a good UI. Now I think that this can be boiled down to two very simple rules, which are you want all the information you can have that is relevant on your screen. Now please do note that I do say relevant there, there is a lot of information you can have on your screen and a lot of it is just completely inconsequential. And as a result that can clutter up your screen, which brings us nicely onto rule number two, which is you do not want to take up as much room on your screen as possible. You want to keep this as minimalistic as you possibly can. You want to have all the information, but you do not want to have so much information on your screen that you can't actually see the game and what is going on. So with those two rules in mind, that is how I have built my UI. And as a result, I'm going to talk you through what I have, where and why it is there. So the majority of my UI can be broken down into the four add-ons that comprise it. And we're going to go through these now, but we're going to go through them in an order that is from the most minimalistic on the UI and the simplest to set up and easy to configure, but provides the least functionality up to the biggest but more obvious add-ons that I use. So the first one we're going to discuss is an add-on called Hekili, or at least that's how I'm choosing to pronounce it. I will highlight on the screen what it does for you here. And simply put, this add-on tells you what button you should be pressing next for your DPS rotation. Now, this is a really simple add-on and it is incredibly automated. So what I mean by that is it will automatically decide for you how many things are around, whether you want to be AOEing or single targeting as a result, whether you want to be using cooldowns or not. But all of these settings are configurable also, so you can have it set up how you would like this is extremely useful for characters that are not your main, that you are less familiar with, that you don't play as much and aren't as familiar with the normal rotation and what you should be doing. Or alternatively, if like me, you don't play DPS classes. The few times I'm ever forced into DPSing, I don't know what I'm doing because I don't like the role. It's never been one that's appealed to me. I pretty much exclusively play tanks up until BFA where I've now switched to healing. So when I am forced into doing some world quests or leveling alts, I find this add-on quite helpful. That being said, when it does come to leveling alts, it is designed for use at max level or from legion content onwards. However, in my experience, it does work perfectly fine at lower levels, but they do warn you that it could be suboptimal if used prior to that level. Now, next up, we have details. Now, this is the add-on that creates these three windows that I've highlighted on the screen for you here. And what this is, is it's basically going to give you information on how things are progressing in the content that you're doing. So this information is quite broad and you can select what's relevant to you. With the setup that I have, I have three windows available to me. And that is a feature that comes by default. You can have as many windows as you would like with this add-on to display a whole variety of information. You can configure them to whatever size and shapes and place them anywhere on your screen that you would like. By default, I have this three window set up at the bottom of my screen that you can see here. Most of the time, I'm gonna have these configured to be healing done, damage done, and damage taken. 
this information is very useful to me because it allows me to know when I am healing whether I am putting out sufficient amount of damage which as a disc priest in mythic plus is a relevant feature the amount of healing I'm putting out to know whether a particular playstyle is working for me and also damage taken when playing in pugs can be very useful to help highlight characters sorry players that are perhaps slightly less skilled or not obeying the mechanics of the fight so you can pay extra attention to them to keep them alive for example with the first boss in temple of sothralis it does help show very easily which dps characters are hitting into the lightning shield so then you can either ream them out or you can use a cooldown on them depending on whether you're feeling particularly nice that day or not these can also be configured for a whole variety of other information for example i like to know when i am leveling uh, whether what spells are making up the damage that I am putting out and where I'm taking damage sources from. Um, it was actually with this add-on that I realised just how valuable the enchantment for your neck mark of the hidden satyr is when used on an heirloom item while levelling. In On my warrior at a low level it actually contributes about 50% of my damage and I wouldn't have known that without this add-on. So incredibly helpful and highly configurable to what use you can find for it. And ultimately now we have weak auras. Now weak auras is a very vast topic and one that I'm only going to lightly touch on in this video given that I have only just recently brought out a weak auras video. If weak auras are something you are unfamiliar with basically what they are is they create a whole host of different visuals on your screen to track a wide variety of information and display it to you in a manner that is easy to digest. Some weak auras also have additional functionalities like creating extra buttons on the screen for you to use. Now I'm not going to highlight every weak aura that I am using on this screen, but some of the uses that I have that you will see on my videos when I know what character I'm on are the health and power bars that appear at the side of my character, the capping uh, weak aura which is keeping a track of my Q timers and also when in battlegrounds keeps a track of the predicted outcome of the battleground as well as timers for when bases will transition from one side to another incredibly useful i also use weak auras for the tracking of call to arms which i use to make gold on occasion when i think i can put up with the people that make up raid finder there are just so many functionalities to weak auras that I highly recommend that you check it out for yourself. If you are interested, please do check out my other weak auras video, or I am looking into making one that is a bit more detailed and less specific to Mythic Plus, if that is something that people would want to watch. But weak auras is probably the most important add-on in anyone's UI setup, simply because of the fact that it is so versatile there is very little that you could want in a UI that you couldn't get from a weak aura. Additionally, because most weak auras are made by the player using the add-on or other players that have shared their weak auras, the capacity for this add-on to develop to meet new demands is unprecedented. Simply when the game develops in a way that requires a new weak aura, someone out there will develop a weak aura for that need. Or of course, if you're better at these things than I am, you can make your own. I personally don't use any weak auras that I have created for myself, but I am looking into learning how to make weak auras for a few functionalities that I haven't quite been able to find the exact weak aura that I want. On. And last but certainly not least, we have Elv UI. That is E-L-V-U-I. Now, this add-on comprises the vast majority of my UI, as you may have guessed by the fact that the add-on has UI in the name. It is a complete user interface overhaul for WoW. Now, I'm going to highlight on the screen for you which aspects of my UI are made up by LVUI, and it will highlight the fact that this is basically my entire UI. A lot of you watching this will be familiar with LVUI, that is by far and away the most popular of all UI add-ons out there. In fact, a lot of you are probably already using it, but what a lot of people don't do is configure it in the manner that they would like. A lot of people simply just install it and think that that's job done. But in truth, there is so much configuration to LVUI that it's actually mind boggling. If you ever get brave and open up your settings, you will see that there are literally thousands of configurable aspects to this UI. But for the purposes of this guide are what I actually find to be functional 
for what you need to be able to do to make this UI work for you. The only things that really need to be adjusted are the visibility of bars, i.e. whether they're toggled to be enabled or not, the position and size of your action bars, and also the key bindings. Everything else that you have from LVUI, the default settings will work perfectly fine for you, or simply running through the installation feature at the start of LVUI when you first install it will get your UI set up in a manner that is perfectly functional. Now when it comes to the configuration of LVUI, the only things that you can really notice from the standard LVUI installation that I have changed is my action bars. So I have my action bars configured in a manner whereby I have three very long action bars as well as one smaller one narrowly above it to the side. This is not optimal but simply the way that I set it up when I was first experimenting and I've just not changed it since because I've grown comfortable with it. But that being said, if you want to arrange your action bars in any way that would work for the rest of the UI setup that you have, you can get these to be massive and take up a lot of your screen. Or if you're like many players who's very familiar with where their buttons are located, you won't even need to see these at all and you can feel free to disable them or turn them into a mouse over feature so that they only show when your mouse is over them, however you would like. The main tip, however, on this that I would like to give is the associated keybinds. So a lot of people struggle with their key bindings and what they want bound where, and also then going into the default WoW system to key bind buttons. Now, with LVI, changing your key bindings is as simple as typing slash KB, hovering over a button on the action bar, and then pressing the button that you want key bound to that location. It is as simple as that. As you can see, I have a whole host of bizarre key bindings, and they're in odd places on my action bar but that's just how it works for me if you want a more standardized setup then feel free to make one for yourself that being said i will put a link to my lvui setup down in the description below as well as links to all of the add-ons that i have mentioned so far in this video but that's going to do it for today guys i hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful if you did, please do like the video, feel free to comment or ask me any questions that you may have about UIs. If you really enjoyed the content and want to be kept up to date with any more videos that I bring out or perhaps videos that are in reply to comments that you've left on these, please do consider subscribing to the channel as then you would be notified of when I do so. But that being said guys, I hope you have a lovely day. Peace out.